Hello guys, today I'm going to show you how you can add full calendar to your React.js app that look exactly like this. All right, let's get started. First, you have to create your React app by typing npx create React app and name your app and I say there my calendar like that and wait a little bit for it to install yeah I'm gonna speed the video up for you guys so you don't have to wait for this yeah after it done um, you can cd to the folder my calendar and then we can run npm install full calendar oh, I will copy it from here and I will leave it under the description so you guys can just copy and paste it to your thumbnail yep <laughs> yes after Done installing, you can check your package.json. Currently, I'm using the egg version 18 and full blender version 6, which is the latter version of full blender. Okay, we can run npm start it to start our app. this okay um i will clean up the folder a bit so just keep things simple yes After that, I um, will create a folder called component and call it calendar.jsx. So, cut and I will import it to here. Calendar. Trusium. Let's see. Yes, it's working. So, now just working on calendar. So in order to implement full calendar, you have to import the library. Um, it could be yeah. After the import, we can go to here and implement full calendar. So in order for full calendar to work, we have to pass in the prop called plugin, plugin, and passing all the the grid plugin, time grid plugin, and interruption plugin. And then what we have to do, we have to pass in initial view. Initial view is the view that you want your calendar to look like when it first load up it has three type of view we have month week and day so let's say if i wanted to have show by month i can say a day quit month like that click cl yeah you can see it's show by month if i wanted to show by day i can say time quit day like that but if i wanted it to show by week i can say time grid week so if you show by week here like that but i will stick to the day grid month i wanted to show month if you want the tone month week day view like this and you can edit by passing the prop to the full blender by writing header toolbar 
and pass the drop I will leave the link in the description and header to bar here right here you can pass it to the header toolbar and and yes nothing change because it is the same thing uh, like if you want to put the title January 2023 20, into the center you can pass it to the center like this uh, the property start center and end is just uh, the position of the toolbar up here so you want the today previous and next button on the start i can pass it here and you can jump to the start so yeah to add the button monday and week view we have to add uh like this day create month single quote day create month day create month um time create week and time create day here like that uh i think we don't need the i think we don't need a space with that i think we call it space but i think we don't need a space like that so it's yeah yeah so if i click change to big view it will change big view and day and day view yep yes that's how you implement full calendar to your react app but oh let's say if you want the height of the calendar to just fit the skin we can also write the property high to you can specify whatever high you like but i will give it a 90vh that it fit yeah it fit perfectly and it has a lot of other prop to pass into this full calendar and if you want to know more about it you can go to the document and read all about it it has a lot of options on this full calendar and if you want to know more about full calendar comment down below i will make another video for you guys and go in depth to this library Thank you for watching, like, subscribe, see you in another video, thanks.